Hello again and welcome to our final me vs math tutorial on expanding double brackets. This tutorial is labelled as advanced as we'll be dealing with what we call coefficients of x. Let's get straight on and see exactly what we mean by that. So far then we've been looking at questions like this, whereas in this tutorial we will look at questions like this instead. Notice in these brackets there is a number in front of the x. This is called the coefficient, how many there are. And in fact this will be our first question to expand and simplify 2x plus 1 by 3x plus 2. Our technique will be no different to that that we've used in those previous tutorials. Branches to help us multiply and after we've completed our expansion we'll simplify our answer. Beginning then with 2x times 3x. 2 times 3 is 6 and x times x is x squared, so 6x squared. Then 2x times 2 will give 4x. 1 times 3x is just 3x. And finally 1 times 2 is of course 2. All positives here so no need to worry about the signs too much in this particular question. Now let's simplify the part that we can. 4x plus 3x equals 7x, so here it is in our final simplified solution. Hopefully you're thinking it's not really much more difficult than just expanding a simple set of double brackets. Let's do a few more just to drive that point home. OK, our first branch shows we need to multiply 5x by just x. If it helps, then think of this as 5x times 1x. 5 times 1 is 5, and x times x is x squared, so 5x squared. Next, 5x times minus 9. That's a positive times a negative, so we'll get a negative answer. 5 times 9 is 45, so altogether, minus 45x. Now positive 7 times positive x will give plus 7x. And finally, positive 7 times negative 9 gives a negative answer. 7 times 9 is 63, so minus 63. Now we'll simplify those terms in the middle. Minus 45x plus 7x, 45 below 0 and go up 7. We'll get to minus 38 x. So our final solution, 5x squared minus 38x minus 63. Just two more examples for us to look at. No surprises at all in our question, so starting then with 2x times 4x, 2 times 4 is 8, and x times x is x squared, so 8x squared. We'll do the next few parts a bit quicker. 2x times minus 10 is minus 20x, plus 5, positive 5, times positive 4x will give plus 20x, and plus 5 times minus 10 will give minus 50. We've actually done this example just to see what happens now when we come to simplify our answer. Minus 20x plus 20x. Those two terms will cancel each other out. It simplifies to nothing. So our final answer will retain the 8x squared and the minus 50, but that's it. We've seen this before in one of our previous tutorials, but just be aware that it can happen as well when we have coefficients of x, and you might not be expecting it just from looking at the question. This is it then, our last problem. Again, we've seen similar in previous tutorials. The squared sign here shows we're multiplying 5x plus 2 by itself. So to avoid any mistakes, it's best to write it out twice, like so. Now the expansion part should be okay. 5x times 5x is 25x squared. 5x times 2 is 10x. 2 times 5x, 10x again and 2 times 2 plus 4. Simplify as ever, giving our final answer 25x squared plus 20x plus 4. Well done, you've made it, and that's all for now at least on expanding double brackets. If you're looking for some resources to help you practice what you've just learned, or want some inspiration on what to study next, then please be sure to check out the website at meversusmaths.com. Any questions, just ask in the comments section. Otherwise, have a great day and bye for now.